Welcome friends, today we're going to do something a little bit more fun, we're going to do a face mask and a crazy hat, it's going to be very wild and very crazy and uh, it's going to take a little bit of work but we're going to get this done, so let's go ahead and start sketching out the snake in front of the face mask and then color it after. This material is very easy to work with and it turns out very nice, very nice shading, it's very smooth. The only thing is, is it's a little bit hard to do masking and taping. All the sketching is done, let's go ahead and add some color, bring this to life and then add some highlights. Stay tuned because we're going to do a crazy hat after this and it's going to be insane. I'm going to go back in here and add some more black to try to make that snake really stand out. And I'm going to come back and add an additional layer of white to try to make it stand out some more. The front is already done, it looks crazy, but we're not done yet because we got to still do the back and that's even more work. Alright, we're going to start off with painting everything nice and brown and we're going to come back and add this crazy pattern on top of that. I don't recommend for you to do a step and repeat pattern on any garment, it's just way too much work. It's uh, Sometimes it doesn't really come out that nice and you have to do a lot of cleanup. So I always try to stay away from uh, these type of designs but this is a crazy all uh, project so we're just going to go through it and uh, finish it off. So uh, we're going to go ahead and put the logo here and we're going to put a nice white base. This way we have the, uh, the red that will definitely stand out against that white. After removing the stencil, I'm going to allow this to dry a little bit. I'm going to come back and add a drop shadow to the letters so they really stand out. The face mask is done and we're ready to move on to the hat. So let's go ahead and put this aside and continue doing the hat. We're going to start off by uh, adding a white base. So there's going to be a little landscape on the front and a crazy step and repeat again like the face mask uh, all over the hat. Uh, it's kind of hard to work on a hat because it's not a very you know, like a straight uh, surface. You kind of have to like keep moving it around and it's hard to avoid overspray as well especially with a dark uh, hat like this one. So um, once you're done obviously we got to come back and uh, kind of um, respray the black areas with black again so uh, we can get rid of some of that overspray. We're going to be putting the same logo uh, Corridos Tumbados on the front with the same two colors and of course it's going to be a step and repeat all over the hat as well. This is a little bit difficult because we're trying to stencil something that's not straight. It's uh, very difficult to get some sort of a hard backing on the hat so you have a, a surface to work with so you have all those creases and stuff like that it makes it really difficult to uh, to get something clean painted on there, on there but you know what are you gonna do so let's go ahead and cover everything and uh, tape it up and let's go ahead and shoot it So the difficult part is that you have to lay down uh, very thin layers of paint this way they dry and you can continue to add more uh, within time but obviously it takes a little bit longer time because you have to wait for it to dry um, but you need a thick layer of paint uh, in order for the uh, other colors to really show and kind of pop um, but at the same time because the hat itself is black it absorbs most of that paint so 
Uh, overall, it's just uh, uh, this particular project was kind of difficult just to get uh, paint on there to be thick enough uh, for it to show really nice. All right, everything seems to be dry. Let's go ahead and uh, touch up the white areas there on the front. Uh, and then let's go ahead and peel that uh, stencil out and start cleaning all the rest of the uh, black that got overspray. All right, and we're pretty much done at this point. All we gotta do is do a little bit more cleanup. And I ended up putting a special design on the bottom of the bill. Since the hat was already crazy enough and I, you know, the, the bottom kind of felt kind of kind of empty. I wanted to put something extra, so I went ahead and painted that on there. You'll see here in the next few pictures. All right, and that's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for subscribing and checking out this channel and this video. Hopefully you guys enjoy, and I'll see you guys on the next one. For now, take it easy, and I'll see you guys. Bye-bye.